What's up guys, Matt Nels here with Focus Camera and today we're looking at Premiere Pro's new 360 degree video workflow. Adobe recently updated Premiere Pro to include a 360 degree workflow, so let's take a look. Right, so we have our 360 degree video here. We're going to drag drop it onto a new bin and it's going to create a new sequence for us with all the correct settings. The problem is, is that our video is still flat. We can't look around in it and get that virtual reality experience. So we're going to go over here to our um, menu and we're going to add a new button that Premiere Pro added and that's toggle VR video display. So we're going to drag and drop it onto here and then we're going to turn it on and now we can look around in the video and get a sense of what our viewers will see when they watch it. So if we right click here, go to VR video settings, you'll see in frame layout, you have the options for monoscopic and stereoscopic. Stereoscopic is for your 3D uh, videos that you're shooting, but we're only shooting mono, so we'll leave it there. Um, captured view is what's your camera shot, our camera shot 360 degree, degree video, so we'll leave that there. It could also capture just like a really wide pair, uh, panorama shot um, so that could be changed as well. Um, in monitor view, this is uh, what you'll want to change depending on the device that your viewers are going to watch the video on. Um, so let's say we want to change this to 180, get OK, and we get a wider view here of the video. You can also do the same in your source monitor. You can add uh, the video over here if you want to edit. You can edit the video the exact same as any normal footage. You can add in a dissolve, for example. Um, so it's pretty much all the same except now we have a new uh, monitor to work with so that we can kind of experience the same way our viewers will. Now. Well, another note is when we go to export the video, export, we'll go to export media. You'll want to scroll down to the bottom here under video and make sure you hit the video is VR uh, checkbox here. And this is going to add the code to your video. So when you upload it to YouTube or Facebook or a platform that does uh, virtual reality videos, um, that it will recognize that it's a VR 360 degree video and it'll allow users to look around in it and uh, get the virtual reality experience from it. That's it for today's video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give us a thumbs up below and then also make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. I'm Matt Nelson. I'll see you next time on Focus Tutorial Tuesday.